The Premier says he's not against a call by doctors for a national summit on alcohol violence, but he's still not convinced early closing hours are the answer. Instead, Campbell Newman says his government will soon unveil its own measures, which may include alcohol advertising restrictions and more sniffer dogs in nightclubs. As authorities search for answers to drunken violence, the Labour opposition in Queensland and the Liberal government in New South Wales support earlier lockouts. But doctors say it's a national problem requiring a national summit. We need a change in our attitude to alcohol in this country. We need to bring together experts. We need to bring together state governments. The Queensland government says drugs are also a problem, although... Thankfully, it's not as bad in my view as New South Wales. But does history support earlier closing times? We had a thing called the six o'clock swirl where people left work, men left work, went to the bar, drank as much as they could in an hour or so and staggered home or drove home and they belted their wives and kids. I think there's been a lot of change from uh, the 60s to the present day. But the time to take action about the long drinking hours uh, needs to happen now and why is the Premier dragging his feet? There's obviously uh, some very strong interests in relation to this matter. Nevertheless, Queensland will consider trading hours, along with alcohol advertising, police resources and stronger laws. And we'll have a literally a, you know, a countdown to, to, to that day, and then it's on. The Premier will ask late-night venues to help communicate the plan when it's released. But perhaps not surprisingly, many of them don't want trading hours wound back. What they want are tougher penalties against violence and more police on the streets at closing time. You need to get fined, you need to spend time in jail if need be if you do enough things. Nor do they agree with the national approach. I think the best solution would be local solutions for local problems and Queensland should be leading the way. The state government's plan will be announced in March. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.